This is a video mostly for Craig in my uh, Interactive Art 2 Electronic Objects class, but maybe it's instructive for other people. If you're trying to make an, um, an Arduino program work in um, this other workflow that we've been using in my class, which is using Platform IO in VS Code, uh, it's usually not that hard because most Arduino programs are just a single .ino file, and all you have to do is add one line at the top of that .ino file in uh, v in in Platform IO, and then it works. And I'll, I'll show you that in a second. But this particular example, uh, Craig found a an LCD screen from this company called WaveShare, and luckily they have some code examples. A lot of it happens to involve Chinese. We'll see in a minute that that might be a problem for us, but um, basically, you download this big uh, archive file, and it includes uh, folders for the Arduino, for Raspberry Pi, and for STM32. And then within those folders, it contains a separate folder for each one of the displays they sell. Craig got uh, the LCD two inch, so we'll try we'll try that. So I've already downloaded the seven zip file and uh, unarchived it. And actually, what I did was I just got the um, I just got the Arduino stuff. So let's look. I'm yeah. I just I just got the Arduino part of that archive. And if we look in there, I it's got all the different folders. But I'm really only interested in this LCD two inch. So um, that's that's the one I'm going to pay attention to. So you can see it's a bunch of files. There is a .ino file here, but there is a ton of other files. Now um, let's look at let's let's first create a new project in. Um, Platform IO. So the way that we do that is just hit new project here. I'll give it a name two inch LCD test. And I will choose Arduino Uno because that's what we're using in our class. And I'll use the default location and hit finish. So um, this usually takes a moment. That was pretty quick. But uh, basically, we have this structure where we have a source fo folder and in there we have main.cpp. So this kind of looks like an Arduino program. Oops. Looks like an Arduino program and all you have to do if you just have a .ino file that you've downloaded somewhere is just add this uh, arduino.h to the top usually. Usually that's all you need. Sometimes you have to add wire.h which is uh, another one that the Arduino IDE includes without being uh, specifically added. So it, first thing I'm going to do is make sure this thing compiles in the Arduino because if it doesn't do that, I'm, I'm going to start figuring out what's wrong there. But here it is. And if I hit a check mark, uh, it's compiling for the Arduino Uno. You can see down at the bottom. And it says it's done compiling. So it worked. Now you can see there all the all the different files show up as separate tabs here. And this is just kind of like a clumsy way of throwing things together. Uh, you don't see that, that that often. So if you have a library for a device, usually it shows up under libraries, right? So you search for it, you install it. And then actually, if you look at how libraries are organized <clears throat> in your Arduino folder, there's a folder called libraries. And each one has its own folder. So here's one called RTC0, and it looks like this. It has a source folder, has an examples folder, it has certain, a certain way that it looks, right? Like if I go to another one, it kind of looks the same. That's not what's happening with this WaveShare stuff. They've just kind of like dumped a bunch of code in uh, separate files, and they all show up in the same folder. What are these files? Uh, if you look, they mostly are .h files and .cpp files. In fact, they all are. And each one, like if you look at GUI paint.h, it's basically showing you kind of what capabilities are added by this pair of files. So it gives you a bunch of uh, kind of words that you can use. Um, so magenta presumably corresponds to the color magenta in some context. And then there's other stuff like different types, different functions that get added. But you can see it just shows you what the function is and how to use it. It doesn't actually uh, give you, it doesn't show the code that's behind it. So how does it paint draw a car? Well, um, that's usually in the CPP file. So if you look, this is a much longer file. And this is where each of those uh, functions from the .h are actually implemented. So this is where the code is. So they've just kind of dumped it all into one folder and we're going to see if we can make that work in the uh, structure that we have here in um, in platform IO. So the first thing is let's just take the uh, .ino file, I'll copy that to the clipboard and I'll just paste it here. I'm going to leave the 
uh, include at the top because we need that for platform IO. That's something that Arduino includes by itself. So you can see a bunch of red underlines here already. It's saying it can't find these files. And that makes sense because we don't have them here. So if you were going to install a library from the Arduino, like I showed you these, uh, these others, uh, Arduino P low power, for example. If I wanted to include that with my um, platform IO project, I would drag that folder right into the lib folder and it would work. You know, that would work just like it does in the Arduino. But in this case, like I said, they're just, they just have a bunch of files all in the same place. And so we're going to add them all to the same source folder. So let me figure out uh, how can I get all these? I guess I have to find them on my hard drive. Hold on. Uh, let's see, where are they? downloads Arduino 2 inch okay so I've got all the files here I'm gonna grab all of them except for the INO file so I'm grabbing all of them except for the INO file because I've already copied that the contents of it into main.cpp so I'm gonna copy those though into the same folder source so that's it they're all here now now it's still complaining that it can't find them so uh, there's probably a way, uh, let's see, include, please update your include path. So it, there is some way, I'm just, you know, I'm just winging this. So there's some way to change your include path so it knows where to look for, uh, for libraries, uh, for .h files in this case. But what I'm gonna do is, because I know they're in the same folder, I'm just gonna put dot .slash in front of them. And so that means look in the current folder for those .h files, and that's gonna be fine. So let's try and compile this because this might work already. Let's see, I'm gonna hit save on this and then choose the little check mark down here. Okay, so we've got a lot of errors and most of them look similar, right? So they're complaining about error, narrowing conversion of 255 from int to car. So um, car is a essentially a byte, it's usually, I think I thought it was 0 to 255, but I'll bet you what it is is that it's negative 127 to 127, right? So it's not, it's signed, it's not unsigned. So it's still 8 bits. That's a type that only holds 8 bits, but um, it doesn't go 0 to 255, it goes negative 127 to positive 127. So these all look like numbers that are above 127. So that makes sense, I guess. What doesn't make sense to me is why it wasn't a problem in the Arduino. I don't know why, um, but there's obviously an issue here. So what we can do is actually ho hover over this and control click and it'll bring us right to that line of the code and it opens that file. So it's this chunk right here. It's um, There are a bunch of things that are getting added. If you look over here in the map, you can see it's all the same. So this is uh, font 24 CN. I think uh, the CN stands for Chinese and if you look they're all Chinese characters I think yeah so this I think this is that Chinese character but in uh, in numbers essentially so it's going to use that to display it on the display honestly uh, because we're in the US and uh, my students are in the US I don't think they're they really care so maybe I could just skip this font 24.24cn and let it keep this the C, the 24 without the CN. I'm going to delete that file. I could always get it back if I needed it, but um, I have a feeling that's not going to solve the problem because you know just getting rid of that file doesn't mean that it's not referenced elsewhere. So let me just hit uh, compile again. And what you see is basically this is just kind of a trial and error process, right? So I, I noticed one thing. Uh, think nope. I still got a lot of these errors. Now this is a different file though. Same error, different file. So uh, I'm going to control click on this and I can see this is also Chinese. So um, let's see. It looks like, it, yeah, it's so it looks like it's all Chinese because they're creating a table that has font 12 CN. I'm going to collapse this and see if I can. OK, so yeah, and this one, too, right? That's also CN. So it looks like maybe this is also unnecessary. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get rid of this file. Now let's try compiling again, see what happens. Okay, it seems to be getting farther, at least it's doing more work. Um, so here's, uh, it's saying there's some references to uh, font 24 CN that it can't find. Now that makes sense. But let's, let's see, let's go right from the top down. So I think this is the first error here. 
it says warning multi-line comment so the yellow ones are warnings now I can fix that I think uh, that's an easy one to fix so let me control click uh, you know I don't know maybe that's okay for Arduino but not for this compiler I'll just make that a one-line comment I'll save that and try compiling again do I have to be in main CPP no it, it knows to compile main CPP okay so um, let's see there's a problem here in this function there's an invalid conversion from const car okay this looks like the same thing right it's trying to convert between two different types and it's having trouble the reason for this is because if we're just talking about ascii characters a through z zero through nine and some special symbols that can all be stored in one byte um so i'm not really digging into this but I, I suspect there's an issue because there are more characters in chinese this chinese character set than there are in ascii so um, I'm, what I'm going to do is just keep getting rid of Chinese stuff. So let me uh, go to this one. I'll control click on that. And again, this looks like that is specifically has a CN after it in caps. So I'm going to assume that is related to Chinese characters. I'm going to I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to get rid of this. So because it's folded up, I can just highlight it and delete it. Is that true? No, maybe not. Let's try that again. I will highlight all of this and delete it. And um, I don't know, I mean, I could just search. Let's see, if I search for underscore CN, does it show up anywhere else? No, just in this comment. So I'll save and try compiling again. Okay, I'm getting less and less errors. Uh, in paint CPP, I've got the same thing happening. So let's see what the deal is there. Control click on that error. Okay, this is a different error. It says, warning, comparison between signed and unsigned integer expressions. And it's complaining about not just this line, but this line. They, this is a loop inside of a loop. So it's saying that comparing J to H is a problem and I to W is a problem. Well, what are the types? So int for I and J, those are of type int. And H image and W image, well, it says those are of type U word. So that's a different type. Maybe what I can do is just make these a matching type and see if that solves it. I'll save, try again. Very few errors now. Okay, so let's see. Uh, there's some reference in here to the functions that we got rid of. Now, I'm not totally sure how to find that. What I'm gonna do is just to to be sure I don't have some weird problem going on. I'm gonna build clean so it gets rid of everything. And then I'm gonna try building again. Okay. So it still says there's a problem. Now, let me look in main.cpp and see if there's any reference in here maybe to, yeah, so right here. Be I look there because it says in function main. So uh, I'm going to get rid of this reference to that CN function that we've eliminated. Are there any others in here? I don't see any other CN stuff. So I'll hit save again and try and compile. And look at that, it says success. So all I've done is kind of, uh, I've put all of the files in source just because that's how they were in the Arduino example. They just all got dumped into one folder. And then I just started to look at the errors from the top down. And the, as I make my way through the errors, they start to get less and less. And so um, I eventually got to the point where it's gone. Now, I, this was a, a unique example because really the solution for me was just to get rid of any reference to printing Chinese characters. If I actually cared about that in, in the a way that I was gonna use this code, then I probably wouldn't be able to just delete it. I'd have to start tracking down why those things worked in Arduino and not with this compiler. So um, I think, you know, Maybe the code was written poorly. Maybe it took advantage of some loopholes that Arduino allows. Maybe it's just a difference in the two systems. Not really sure, but I don't care. It works. And I'm going to assume it works. I don't have the actual um, display here, but I'll give this to Craig and he'll try it with a display and see if it works. And then he can start continuing to work here within um, platform IO instead of using the Arduino interface. And uh, I think that's it.